Okay. Howdy, hey, everyone. It's me, Sikio Tech. Hold on one moment. I need to put out the call to action to everyone and spam the world. So, if you're watching this, howdy, hey. Wait, hold on, let me switch to the. There we go. If you're watching this as a VOD, howdy, hey, I recommend skipping a couple minutes forward. I'm just gonna take a couple minutes, welcome some people in. But we've got ceramic keycaps for you today. Uh, also, I have a cold, um, so I have very low energy, but today is gonna be what we call in the business a chill stream. So we're gonna chill. I might not talk a lot, but you know, it's gonna be a fun one. Let me post an Instagram story real fast. Uh, there we go. Live checking out ceramic keycaps. There we go. So that's what we're doing today, by the way, if you're just tuning in. We're checking out ceramic keycaps. Um, but first, I have a very special announcement to make. Um, it's super, super special, super unique. Howdy, hey, everyone. Um, I have a sandwich, and I'm going to eat it. That's my super special announcement. So, oh, did you notice I have two cameras now? That's good, right? Mm. And my shirt still has holes in it. I heard through the grapevine that they are incredibly thawky. Gone wrong. Oh, howdy, hey. Thank you so much for the eight months. Dang. That's been a while. Hello, everyone. Rip toilet time? Yeah, that's true. When I move again, no toilet time. I can't sit on the toilet in the background. That's honestly going to be a little bit sad. Sad, just an update on me for all you tuning in. Oh, could we get another howdy hey just for you because you super chatted? Howdy hey, call me Fim. So, I'm moving again soon. Um, by soon, I mean literally six days. Maybe seven. So, um, as you can see, I haven't packed up anything. Literally nothing. Um, so I went to Germany, if you guys were wondering. I visited the Cherry MX headquarters. I hung out with Glarses, Hamaji Neo, Switch and Click, Squashy Boy. Um, it was an amazing time. And then I came back with a cold. Um, is that an air purifier? Yeah. So, amazing time in Germany. There will be a video on that eventually. So don't you worry about that. Yeah, my shirt is actually kind of fresh, not gonna lie. Also, if you guys, if somebody joins, I'll show you my armpit. So. Yeah. It has to be like a unique join though, not like a... Yeah. But it'll be a vlog. It'll be a vlog. I recorded like 50 gigs of footage. Oh, sloppy. Howdy, hey, thank you so much for the 40 mirror. That's amazing. You're the best. S8. All right, here's my armpit. Wait, yeah, there it is. <laughs> armpit hole. Look at that thing. Look at that thing. Isn't that crazy? Yeah, we don't, <laughs> we don't afford shirts. We got keyboards. I'm, is it stinky? No, I'm never stinky, really. I have very proper hygiene, even though I don't look like it. I take a shower every day or two. What more do you need? So for those of you just tuning in, I do have ceramic keycaps behind me. Um, I'm gonna be building a keyboard with the ceramic keycaps. I'm going to need to take apart the keyboard first, and I am currently eating a sandwich because I have a cold and I'm taking care of myself. 
I recommend all of you at home also take care of yourself. Um, grab a sandwich, grab a snack. Today's a really chill stream. How was work? Was work good? I hope work was good. Hope it wasn't too stressful for you. Hmm. Glenciaga could sell that t-shirt for like two gram. Oh yeah. For sure. Seraki? Yep, it'll be Seraki. Um, if you guys are interested in checking out the keycaps, you can type exclamation point ceramic in the chat. Uh, exclamation point ceramic in the chat to check out the keycaps. It's a Kickstarter. Generally, I wouldn't be that keen on promoting a group buy. They were sent to me for free. Um, that is a Kickstarter referral link if you're curious. Generally, I wouldn't be keen on Kickstarters, but it's such a unique product that I'll allow it. You know, it's not just random GMK set, number seven. The sandwich is great. Thanks for asking. Yeah, I just threw this thing together on my um on my little George Foreman. I'm pretty proud of it. Hmm. Yeah. Just got my QK65 today and built it. How is that? I want one. They were supposed to send me one, and they didn't. So I didn't buy one because I thought they were going to send me one. And then I didn't get it. And then I got really confused and sad. Oh, hold on. I gotta uh, turn on the band button. Gotta turn on the band button. One sec. There we go. So only subscribers can chat, and I'm turning on a nice little juicy two-second slow mode. Um, because I really don't feel like it today. I feel like chatting with the people that care, not the people that spam. It's one of those days. People that spam. Oh, I hear myself. There we go. There we go. We did it. Okay. Perfect. Nice shirt. Thank you so much. I made it myself. <clears throat> there we go. All right. Twitch chat, you guys are good. Twitch chat, you never... You never make me angry, Twitch chat. I don't know why. Twitch chat is so remarkably calm and chill compared to YouTube chat. YouTube chat, I don't know what's going on with you guys sometimes. A lot of times you're good, but sometimes you're not very good. What model of glasses you have? They're Ray-Ban. See, when Alex comes in here, I'm much happier. I can just imagine his sultry voice typing that out for me right now, and that makes me happy. Hmm. Hmm. Do you know what's going on with Hamaji Neo? He's doing great. He's in he's in university, that's why he's not making videos right now. Um But yeah, he's doing great. He's a fantastic lad. We love Hamaji Neo. Oh, hi Vivi. Yeah, YouTube really likes its spam. Really likes its spam. How was Germany? Germany was fantastic. Honestly, hanging out with everybody, super fun, amazingly fun. Like, probably the most fun I've had all year, without a doubt. Maybe even more fun than whatever I did last year. I don't think what I did last year was that fun. It was awesome. It was great seeing all the guys. And it was really cool getting to see Cherry. That was, there's a lot of stuff I can't tell you about that trip, but I'll be able to tell you probably once the vlog comes out, I hope. There's some exciting stuff that I can't talk about. That's all I'm going to say. It was really cool. Um, yeah. I came back with a bit of a cold, but we're trudging through it. We're eating a sandwich. We're taking care of ourselves. And we're just having a chill stream today. Like, yeah, it's one of those days. Chill stream. If you guys are trying to be high energy, take a nap. Hmm. Hmm. All right. This sandwich is taking longer to, than I thought to eat, which is quite remarkable. But. Hmm. 
Is the sandwich bussin? <laughs> Do people still say bussin? Shroomer. Howdy, hey. My friend Bell is watching and loves your content. Could you say hi to her? Howdy, hey. I hope you're doing well. Thanks for watching the live stream. I hope you're chilling. Hope you're vibing. Bell. We don't say bussin? That's what I thought. I thought nobody says bussin anymore. That was like a that was like a 2020 thing. Hmm. What time is it? 7.30? 7.30? Um. Where'd my sandwich go? Dang. It's gone. It's gone. Now it's time for the next challenger. T. This tea is definitely oversteeped. Hold on. Oh, can you see I've been drinking Pedialyte? I've been remaining a healthy hydration level. There we go. Have you had quail eggs? I don't think I have. I love eggs, though. I wonder if this is going to be too hot. Hold on. Here's my mug. It says, good time. We are having a great time. I really like this mug. It has a little lid on it with the little cat. He wiggles around. It's one of my favorite mugs. Oh. Hmm. Switching to Twitch for the fun emotes? Fair enough, Phoebe. There's a lot better emotes on Twitch. Ah, you want to sip here? There you go. Ah, I hope that was good for you. Hmm. Have you considered making a podcast? Um, I haven't, no. It'd be fun to go on a podcast, though. I just don't think I have, like, the, the brain power to come up Brr with things to talk about for hours on end. That's always impressive to me. What would you rate the sandwich out of 10? That's a tough one. That's a tough one. Honestly, like, I was pretty hungry before I ate the sandwich. So if I had to, like, really pin it down, I'd probably say, like, a 7 or an 8. It was good. I really can't complain. There's a, just, it was a little bit, um, I need, like, a sauce. Need, like, a, like, barbecue. Tile jelly. Howdy, hey. Welcome to the Watering Hole Gang. It's so great to have you here. I will now drink some water in your honor. Cheers. Josh, howdy, hey. Thank you for celebrating... 17 months of watering hole membership one of the very first members josh whoosh we love him we cherish him Mwah. hey hippie a new subscriber to your youtube channel just want to say thanks for getting me interested in such a cool hobby hey thank you for watching all right anyways before i get too delirious let's get to the let's get put a new shirt on i'm gonna rip a bigger hole all right i'll do it Oh, well, howdy, hey, Bell. Dream ASMR keyword. That sounds great. All right. I'm going to move this out of the way. This is my Niz uh, Franken board. Oh, see this hole? Look at this. Look at that hole. Mmm. Don't look too long, you freaking rascals. Don't look too long. <laughs> you made a bigger hole. <laughs> I need like a... a I need to sell ripped t-shirts. Okay. Let's move these over. Ugh. You've heard, you've heard of side boob, but have you heard of side pit? I think that's allowed on Twitch. I don't know. We'll find out. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to be building the Keychron Q2 out today because I wanted a board with RGB in it. And this has RGB, and it was on my shelf. Um, but unfortunately, I already had it built out. So I'm going to have to poach this bad boy. The next shirt is just an outline of a shirt. That would honestly be so comfortable. You'd never get hot. Okay. So we're going to do a little bit of poaching. We're going to do a little bit of chat reading, I guess. You know? Um... 
Oh, what is this? Is this Infinikey Delight? My keycap set from Infinikey? Wow. That's so crazy. All right, Alex, you take care. You have a great night. Farewell. Thanks for tuning in just for a minute. Appreciate you. All right. Boom. Those are good keycaps. Oh, thank you so much. Okay. I really like these keycaps. Look at this. It says Delight. I designed this box when I was drunk. Don't tell the key company. Uh, they accepted the design and I... <laughs> oof. Don't tell them, though. That's between you and me. All right. <clears throat> How many sets of those keycaps do you have? Only two. Well, if you count prototypes, like four. But uh, finished sets, two. Two finished sets. Is the keycon worth it? Well, I just so happen to have a video on that, and you should check it out. Maybe I should change my shirt. No, you know what? You guys get armpit every time I lift. Look at that. Armpit. 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 Hit subscribe for more armpit content. Thank you. Here, I'll do this. There, That way you get less armpit content. Side pit. We're not here to care today. We're here. We're here to chill. It's air conditioning. I like that comment. Um, yeah, so we're just poaching Infinity to Light. This is a PBT set. Um, it is my PBT set. I designed it. I wonder, is it sold out on the key company? Maybe. If it's not, use code HIPPIO to save 5%. Um, Infinity to Light. It's a keycap set that's based on desserts and I really like it because I made it and I'm completely biased. <clears throat> Soleil. These are Holy Panda X's. Yeah, if you've if you're an avid Hippio Tech viewer, then you might know I did a stream where I got the Holy Panda X's and then didn't lube them. Um, that was this board. That was this board. Um, they are not lubed, so they sound pretty bad, so I'm actually going to be poaching them from the board. Um, so they're not going to be in the board anymore. Anyways. Guys, should we, like... What if we gaslight all the new viewers in the chat and tell them that, like, I had just had a fight with a bear at the beginning of the stream, and that's why my shirt is ripped? Yeah? So anytime somebody asks in chat... Why is Hippio's shirt ripped? At them and say, he fought a bear. All right. That's between you and me, chat. All right. Don't tell new chat that we're doing this. So we're going to gaslight every new chatter that asks about my shirt. Hippio fought a bear. Okay. Good work. I believe in you guys, right? It's like, it's, it's friendly neighborhood gaslighting. Nothing bad. Oh, there we go. Anyways, um, so we're just going to be disassembling this keyboard here. Nothing to see here. Boom. Who won? Obviously me. I'm still alive. It's pretty good. Oh. <clears throat> Michael, howdy hey. Enjoy your keycon. Yeah, hippios tend to, tend to beat bears. Um, I'm doing pretty good after the bear incident, though. Yeah. We're doing pretty good. Who started it? I mean... He wanted to, like, take a nap in my... My cave. And it was my cave, so... Yeah, you bet we stopped him. Slothy? Um, I only really open my... Wait. I only really open my DMs for business opportunities. Um, if you got one of those, you can always send me an email. If you don't, don't send me an email, unfortunately. If you're looking for help building a keyboard, I recommend joining my Discord. Exclamation point Discord. I can't help you personally in there. Um, but there's lots of people that can. Hey, is it animal abuse if the bear started fighting me? I don't think so. <clears throat> my allergies are terrible? Yeah, I feel you. I've got a pretty gnarly cold, and my allergies are pretty bad. Um, my whole body aches, as if I like ran a marathon or something. I didn't run a marathon. That's just a hint for you. Marathons were not ran. 
Uh, let me just put some of these keycaps in there. Bum, bum, bum. What's the music? Just some jazz from the Epidemic Jazz playlist on the Spotify. Your keycaps come in a 96% layout. My keycaps come in a layout that supports almost every popular layout. I say almost just because I don't know if I missed one, but my keycaps support a lot of layouts. Not specifically like in a kit for 96%, but you know. This is the Q2, yeah. Are we building the Q2 out? I've got links down in the description on YouTube for all of this stuff. If you're watching on Twitch and want any of my affiliate links, feel free to type exclamation point YouTube. Um, that'll send you over here just for a minute so you can visit all the affiliate links. I've got links to the board, the switches. Well, maybe not the switches. Um, but the board, the keycaps we'll be using, uh, maybe something else. My water bottle is in there. If you care. Beans tier list when? I actually can't really have beans, so all beans are F tier. Unfortunately, I'm sorry. Um, okay, so we took all the keycaps off. Oh. We did not take all the keycaps off. One moment. Why won't this come off? There we go. Okay. Maybe I, you guys want a raised angle? Here. There's a, a fun raised angle for you. Yeah, that's probably better for you. I don't know why I waited so long to do that. But. I've got two cameras running now. I built a new computer. Well, not that much changed about my computer except my motherboard. My last motherboard was preventing me from using my Elgato capture card. It just like didn't support the PCIe bandwidth for some reason. So I can finally use my capture card. Some of you might have noticed my stream is moderately better quality. Uh, just like ever so slightly better quality. I hope it it matters to you. It matters to me, and that's why I did it. So should we have an armpit angle? Every time somebody hits the join button today, I'll show my armpit. How about that? Exclamation point join or click the join button down below on YouTube or Twitch. Four ninety nine a month is all it takes for me to show my armpit today. I'm very cheap. I think, does YouTube have a gift membership yet? It's supposed to very soon. Oh no, is this gonna be one of those days where it takes forever to pull out all the switches? Okay, it might be. Oh gosh. Hmm. Yeah, this is gonna be one of those days. Yeah, I wonder if I've got a different switch puller around. Let's check out this guy. Oh no, these guys are just stubborn. <laughs> this board is like almost too gasket mounted. It's like making pulling out the switches quite frustrating, but we'll get through it. Ugh. Your voice is so soothing. Well, hey, I also make music. You can check it out at exclamation point music. Uh, if you think my voice is soothing, then my music will make you think differently. <laughs> ah! What computer do you have? I don't know, it's next to me. Nah, it's, uh, it's an NZXT. Kind of. It's a Franken NZXT. I'll have a short on it eventually. I think in June. There's a part in it that I can't talk about yet. Okay. This is gonna be one of those things. Hello, YouTube. Sorry, YouTube's not uh, not gonna talk to you. YouTube and Twitch rivalry is too strong. One day YouTube and Twitch will come together, but maybe today's not that day. They fight for my attention. Oh gosh. Switch just flew. All right, back to a, a, a soothing tea break.
good time. We are having a great time. Hmm. We are having a great time. Ah. What's your boba order? It really changes a lot. Usually some type of uh, lemon tea though is pretty good. Lemon green tea with honey. Extra pearls sometimes. What time is it for you? Seven? F 43. Okay, I don't know which of these is the easier keycap puller, or switch puller, I mean. Now a lot of you are probably wondering, um, oh you're replacing the switches in the board why wouldn't you just put the ceramic keycaps on well in this particular board i had unlubed holy panda x's in there and i feel like that would be kind of unfair to the ceramic keycaps because they're like completely bone dry not lubed um and they're like a switch that's kind of meant to be lubed um so there you go there's your answer We'll be putting in a different switch. Ah. There we go. Do you like Doritos? I can't have Doritos. Don't oh, thank you for asking. Oh. oh. Taeyang, howdy hey. Thank you for celebrating two months with me. Have you already used the Novel Keys TTC Matrix switches? No, to be honest with you, I haven't used a lot of Novel Key stuff. Um, they are one of the few brands that just like refuses to work with me for some particular reason. Um, so anything I end up getting from them, uh, is like something very unique. Like I've got the Olivia keycaps, um, and I bought those myself, but I don't know, something rubs me the wrong way about like a multi-million dollar company not wanting to work with creators, but I don't know. I don't know. That's my, uh, that's my sick tea. I'm too sick. Ah. Ah. Will you be making a new song eventually? Yeah. Yeah. Follow my Kadeli Instagram and Twitter for updates on that. Brr Brent, howdy hey. Do you plan on reviewing the new Zeal Pearl switches soon? I'll have to look into them. I don't have current plans, but Zeal comes up with some interesting stuff. I will say I don't do traditional like switch reviews anymore, um, except like on stream segments, um, just because switch reviews are very niche. But you know, people like the switch reviews, so maybe, maybe there's a bug in my room. You'll be remembered. Yeah, these Keychron plates are very tight. Like, they hot swap, but uh, they effort to swap. I don't know how people could speed run this build. I feel like I'm breaking the housing on every Holy Panda. Don't oh, wow. Taylor, howdy hey. Welcome to the watering hole, gang. It is so great to have you here for your very first time. I'm going to drink some water in your honor now. So, um... Mm. Cheers. 
Cheers. All right. Switch reviews are very informative. I agree. Um, I also feel like there's people that do it better than me. It's really kind of not my place. I did some Switch reviews uh, before, and I don't know. I try and make videos that I want to watch, and Switch reviews are informative, but generally pretty boring to me. And it's hard for me to make a Switch review that I want to watch, if that makes any sense. But that's just my, my vibes. Come on. Bing bong. Does Gasket Mount decrease tactility or thawk? That question kind of hurts my brain a little bit. Um, are you talking about the tactility of the switches? Uh, the mount really wouldn't affect that. If anything, it would make it like a slightly softer bottom out feel, but not really. This sounds oddly Christmassy. It's the sleigh bells. You have both YouTube and Twitch going at the same time? That's pretty poggers champion of you. Wow. If your keyboard just broke, I recommend you watch all of my YouTube videos. In order. And then tell me which one your favorite one is. Come on. This is just silly. Please say howdy hey in the keep in the cowboy accent. So I have a rule here where um, generally the only time you get bonus howdy hey's is if you hit the super chat button or you hit the join button down below. So you can type exclamation point join and you'll get bonus howdy haze, but that's it. Um, I gotta, you know, I can't give them to you all the time. It's a little bit crazy, but hey, you could join the watering hole gang $4.99 a month and get some bonus howdy haze. The trick is you just got three right there. Don't tell Hippio. You know, we're moving in like uh, seven days and we got to afford rent, so. Uh, something, something. But I didn't say it in the cowboy accent, so. You still lost. I gotta get some weird leverage on these guys. This is gonna be some parallel universe levels of carpal tunnel. What are the keycaps you're gonna put on? Sarah keys. You can uh, find Sarah keys by typing exclamation point ceramic. Um, when is the Twitch sub coming? Once Twitch changes their contract to not contain exclusivity, I will become a Twitch partner. But until then, I cannot be a Twitch partner because they force you to only stream on one platform. Twitch is big stinky doo doo. Okay, I might have to pull this guy out from the sides. No. Nope. Come on. He's just breaking. There we go. Ugh. I mean, the policy like makes sense, but it's really anti-creator. Yeah. So if you watch on YouTube, then I make revenue from it. But if you prefer the experience on Twitch, watch it on Twitch, honestly. Ria Wea, howdy hey. Welcome to the Watering Hole Gang. It is so great to have you here. In fact, it's so great to have you here that I'm gonna drink some water in your honor. Cheers. Do the cowboy. Ah. Rhea, do you want me to do the, uh, you want me to do the cowboy for you? You want me to do the cowboy howdy hey? Otherwise, I'll hold off. Somebody else is going to need to join for that one. Let's see. <laughs> Everybody's like, Rhea, say yes. 
Oh, they said yes. All right. All right. Howdy, hey. Welcome to the Water and Hole Gang. Howdy, hey. I, I, it's kind of weird saying howdy, hey in like a more... Howdy, hey. Howdy. Howdy, hey. Howdy, hey. There you go. What scent is in the humidifier? Distilled water. It's my favorite scent. There you go. Um, if you appreciated that howdy hey, please hit the subscribe button. It's free. There you go. YouTube might have unsubscribed you. They do that now. It's so great. Love that so much. Hey, glad I could help. Welcome to the Watering Hole Gang. Um, if you're brand new around here, I recommend you join my Discord. Uh, link your Discord and YouTube together, and you'll get access to a special channel in my Discord, the Members Only channel. I do actually talk in there from time to time. What happened to your shirt? Chat, what happened to my shirt? Thank you, chat. Thank you, chat. All right. Now. Whoo! Come on. Get out of there. She. Are you struggling with the switches? I'm struggling with existence. Thank you for asking. Um all right, so we got all these bad boys out of there. We could say, see ya. Where do I want to put them, though? Uh, I'm going to put them over here, I guess. It's in the corner. I'm putting all the switches in the corner for now. How you doing today? We're alive. We got a cold. Uh, we're here on stream. Because if I don't stream, then I won't get this done. And I'm moving soon. Gotta get it done. Gotta get her done. Whew. Okay. Banished to the corner realm. By the way, here's a guest appearance from Infiniki Delight. Infiniki Delight. It's my... Oh. Uh-oh. Did my battery already die? Oh, no. Jeez, why it gets so warm, though? All right, I might have to look into that one. So, uh, oh wait, are we back? There we go. Oh, armpit. Uh, don't tell them. They got bonus armpit content. Dang. Anyway, special visit from Infinity Delight. My keycap set. I think it's sold out on the key company, but you can check it out. Maybe it's still in. There you go. Okay. All right, you know what we're gonna do? I'm gonna set this bad boy to the side. And we've got a special second guest appearance today. We've got a bonus unboxing. Bonus unboxing time. Oh wait, let me set my white balance. Bonus guest. Ba-boom. 
So here, let me clear this actually off. Hold on. Bonus guest. This desk mat is from Kinetic Labs, and it's my desk mat, and it's sold out because it was so popular. Um, but these desk mats, but boom. Let's check them out. Boris, howdy, hey. Welcome to the hobby. So great to have you here. All right, so this order is from Kono Store. Kono Store, Kono is a new affiliate of the channel. They reached out, they wanted to send out some stuff. So I said, you know what? Eh. And then they were like, no, seriously, it's kind of cool. Um, we want to send it out to you because it's kind of cool. And I was like, eh. And then I finally found their email and I said, okay, guys, okay. And then they sent it out. It was, it was a cute little thing. We had a little thing together. Anyways. Okay. So, this is a special box. And we got a couple things here. And these are desk mats. And I'm going to set those to the side for now. Um, but you can kind of see what they are. They also sent me... Oh, the Kono 67, which I almost used for this build. But then I didn't. Um, because I wanted to use the Keychron instead. Kono 67 is like a budget board with a knob, I think. Yep. She a budget board? She got a knob. Yeah, ever heard of it? Um, a little RGB cutout. That's kind of cute. It's got a vent for fans. And um, is it? Oh, it's wireless. That's pretty cool, actually. That's pretty clean. She wireless. Rebranded TM680? I think so. Yeah, I think it is. But hey, at least you don't have to buy it off AliExpress, you know? I'll check this out in a future video at some point. But there you go. But. But, but, but. But, 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 but. This is what I was the most excited about here out of all this stuff. And this is the stuff that I was like, whoo. These are officially licensed. I don't really care about this one. Um, I think this is the one I care about the most. These are officially licensed Bob Ross desk mats. Now, I don't know if y'all know this about me, but I love Bob Ross so much, but I paint sometimes. I'm not very good at it. You guys wanna see my paintings? You guys want to see my paintings? I can get you. I can. I can get you one of my paintings. You want to see? Okay. I'll be right back. Okay. One second. My best painting is upstairs. Um, my best painting is upstairs. So I can't show you that yet. But these are a couple of my paintings that are inspired by Bob Ross. So I'm not very good at painting, but here's one I did. I really like this painting. It's a little, little uh, cherry blossom tree and a cute little bridge and some water and I thought it's it's fun to paint you guys should paint it's fun um, and then this is a bigger one that I did this was like a challenge to paint like pretty fast um, this one's less good for sure it's de it's definitely a lot more scuffed this tree is like yikes 
the perspective kind of gets lost. Um, but the mountains. The mountains are sure nice, though. I feel like if you, like, cut it kind of, like, right here, it's kind of nice. Um, but, yeah. I... It's okay. It's okay. I enjoy painting just for the fun of it. I really like these flowers that I did, though. Those are kind of good. These guys down here. Um, but, yeah. So, I'm a big, very big connoisseur of Bob Ross. I've watched hundreds of Bob Ross episodes in my short little lifespan. Uh, oh, sorry about that, you guys. So there's the lore behind Bob Ross and why I was so excited about these. And now let's check out these desk mats. So these desk mats are actually available right now uh, at Kono store. You can type exclamation point Bob Ross to check them out. I made a little command for it before the stream. Look at how organized I am, you guys, even with the cold. So exclamation point Bob Ross, if you want to check out these desk mats. They're officially licensed, which is dope. Ah, there we go. And I'm going to be putting these up on my wall, honestly. Um, they are real paintings from his show. They are real paintings from his show. I think they're super, super, super cool. Honestly. Like, I mean, just look at that thing. This is one of his cooler paintings. The resolution is a little bit low, if I had to be perfectly honest with you. Um, how much do they cost? Well, type exclamation point Bob Ross and click the link and check them out. Um, yeah, it says Bob Ross in the corner. There's so many happy little trees. Oh gosh. Yeah, so I really like, as you can see, it's kind of lower res than I prefer. Like it doesn't look like a real painting in that respect. It looks like a picture of a painting. It doesn't work. The link doesn't work. What? What do you mean? Oh. What the? In YouTube, it's in the description. It's in the description on YouTube, gamers. Hold on. Let me copy the link. They're $30 US. There we go. I wonder why Nightbot isn't working on YouTube. Oh, there's no space. Wait, did that just go dead again? Hold on. Did this overheat? I think my camera's overheating. I think my camera's overheating, you guys. That's a bit of a bummer. I might have to figure out a solution for that one. Anyways. Uh, I pinned... I pinned the message on YouTube chat, so there you go. It's a pinned message. Let me get a quick little B-roll of this desk mat. Um, for B-roll's sake. Yeah, I'm gonna get a quick little B-roll because I want it, and I'm gonna turn this into a video of some kind. <sighs> Oh, that's nice. Oh, that's very nice. Here, let me put a keyboard up there. And then I kind of need to clean up my desk, but... Oh, well. There's a nice little keyboard. There's a mouse for you. Oh, clean up the desk. You guys gotta clean up the desk. You gotta, you gotta make it presentable for all the, all your friends. You can't have a desk that's not presentable, otherwise you're going straight to not presentable town. That's not very presentable of you. Okay. All right, now I can get a nice little 12 second B-roll of that. This is my Niz plum board. I got a video on it. 
Mouse is Logitech G502 Lightspeed. Okay. Now, let's change it out. Yeah, I got holes down here too. What of it? Okay. Um, let's check out one of these. One of these. Ooh, this one is very vibrant. Whoa. Whoa. That's sick, actually. What? Wow. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. And if you put it, your keyboard here, it kind of covers the mountain, but overall, that ain't bad. It's so vivid. You want up close? I'll give you an up close. There you go. There's some context for you. Oh, oh. Oh, there we go. So this is this is the Bob Ross desk mats. They're available. Uh, exclamation point Bob Ross no space. Exclamation point Bob Ross no space. Or the pinned link if you're on YouTube. Um, or the description if you're on YouTube. Check them out. They're for sale right now. Um, I shill them because they're really nice. Yeah, yeah, really nice. Wow. These, this is not a ceramic keycap, but um, I will use the other one for this ordeal. Um, I really like the look of this as like a plain filming backdrop. So I'm gonna be using this one for filming. Um, and now, I think it's time for the moment you've all been waiting for. The keyboard build. So, first things first, where did I put the keyboard? Oh gosh. Okay, so this is the Keychron Q2. Oh, sorry. This is the Keychron Q2. It's a nice little board. Not perfect, but not bad either. He's pretty decent. Oh, sorry, he's out, also out of focus. There we go. All right, perfect. Oh, I need to listen to my jazz. Ah, there's my jazz. Nice. A world without jazz in my ears is just a sad world to be in. There we go. I'm getting a little bit of b-roll. I'm actually making this into my own video this time. I'm not doing any type of stream VOD uh, for editors, so... We're going back to the old school Hippio stream style, where I kind of just sit, and my webcam overheated again. Uh... <laughs> Alright, I'll figure this out for the next stream, I guess. But until then, um, I guess we've got to swap. I guess we've got to swap to, hold on, one moment. Webcam, video capture device, uh, USB video device. Aha, okay. 
I'm sorry gamers. We probably just got a lot worse quality. But uh eh. At least he got a little bit of high quality hippio. Okay. Getting some Keychron Q2 B roll out. I could talk a little bit about the board. Water cool the camera, that's a good idea. For those of you just tuning in, we're using the Keychron Q2 for this build. It's an entry level mechanical keyboard custom ish. Um it's available down in the description if you'd like it, but I've also got videos on it if you want to learn more about it. There we go. Do you know how to make blue switches sound good? Replace them with red switches. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. There we go. Why is the wire going up? What wire? What? What? I don't know what you're talking about. Did you lube those stabs? I remember lubing them. I think. Guess we'll find out. Are the ceramic keycaps good? Stick around and find out, gamer. All right. So, next things next is the switches. Ah, uh, switches. So we're gonna need to put all these switches in, which will require me to sit down. Okay, so, for the switches, we've got some lubed Gateron Pro Reds. Oh gosh, why is this falling? Pro Milky Reds, are they Milky Reds? Yeah, Pro Milky Reds. They've been lubed. They're from Keeps for All. You can save 5% with code HIPPIA. Can you make a high-end board sound like trash? Yeah, it's way easier. Boom. And boom, 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 boom. There they are. Here they are. Let me give you like a full zoom on one of these guys. Set up a nice aesthetic scene. These are linears with a lighter spring. They're definitely my preference, honestly, more than yellows. Um, kind of keen on them. Kind of keen on them. We'll see if they're lubed enough. Oh, that didn't work. <coughs> oh, pardon me. We're still, still sick. Hmm. Ooh. How's everybody doing? Are y'all doing all right? Any y'all sick? Any y'all got the allergy? I got the allergy and the cold. Allergy and cold. There we go. Two for one special. If you aren't sick, keep it that way. Don't get sick. There you go. Just allergies? Yeah, allergy season hits different every year. Every year. Oh. Wearing masks keeps you healthy? Fair enough. Got the Rona? R.I.P. That sucks. I'm glad it wasn't Rona that I got. But yeah. 
Oof. Okay, so now that that's done. Oh. Multiple free armpit angle? Dang, you guys are getting bonus armpits today. That's just rough. I didn't think I'd be giving away armpits that easy. Uh, okay. Why all gaming keeps blue switches? Because gamers like switches that make noise. Nasty sore throat? Yeah. It's probably talking for a couple hours today is going to be a, the worst thing I could possibly do. So now I'm going to install these switches one by one, meticulously, for the next forever. Jeha, yeah, welcome to the welcome to the armpit stream. We love showing off our armpits on this stream. Totally normal occurrence, not just unique to this one stream. Anyways, here's some magic. It doesn't work for some reason live. It's kind of peculiar. Oh well. Oh well. I guess we'll just put on all the switches manually. Gargle salt water if your throat hurts. That doesn't really work for me. I don't know. Like, it, it does something, but it's not worth gargling salt water, you know? Ugh. Yeah, my allergies get so bad that it does seem like I'm sick sometimes. Yeah. Are there any doctors in the chat? What do I have? Diagnose me. Cancer? Probably. After how many weird lubricants and plastics I've touched and inhaled? Uh. Dang, I got Ligma? That's so crazy, what's Ligma? Wow. I don't believe in magic anymore. I'm so sorry. I don't think I want to be the one to make you stop believing in magic. Go see David Blaine. Big dingus syndrome. I love the word dingus so much. That's one of my top 10 watch mojo favorite words of all time. I love your stash. Thank you. I'm just too lazy to shave. Let's go. Uh, sounds like common cold, mild flu, or small case of COVID. It ain't COVID. I did a COVID test. It's definitely a cold. It's sure common. Sure common. Going to pre-med. Oh, you'll be remembered. I say dingus all the time. 10 out of 10 word. Right? Isn't it just the best word? Dingus is such a good word. Oh, man. I learned about the word dingus from Jax Films. Shout out Jax Films. That was like a 2013 discovery. Yeah. Was it a home test? Nah, it was a real test. They swabbed my nose real good. It's in order to fly back from Germany, I had to get a uh, proper COVID test. I mean, there's a chance I caught it after taking that test, but I don't know. I'm triple vaxxed. I don't have a fever, so we're not that oh, worse for wear. Although usually if I get a fever, it's like I'll be sick for three, four weeks. So glad we're not at that point yet. How was Germany? It was awesome. I got a vlog on it one day. One day. Famous last words. Yeah, that's a bent pen. Oops. Grab that lonely switch up there. Hmm. You breathe too much? Ugh. Is the YouTube chat on screen too? It is, yeah. Both Twitch and YouTube chat is on screen. We got the multi-chat on screen. You guys can say hi to each other through my through my screen, if you'd ever want to. I don't know why you would. Hmm. How was the airplane food? So on the way there, 
I couldn't eat any of the airplane food because it uh, contained things I was very allergic to, even after requesting uh, a specific meal. On the way back, I was lucky enough, the food out of Amsterdam was much more allergy friendly. So I was actually able to eat all the food on the way back, which is pretty cool. Well, most of it, which was good. Would you fly business class? No. So on the way there, I flew Delta Comfort Plus. Cherry was nice enough to pay for the $90 upgrade to Comfort Plus. Um, and then on the way back, I was not gonna get Comfort Plus, so I paid 130 US dollars of my own money to upgrade to an exit row. Best $130 ever spent because uh, I have scoliosis and sitting for 10 hours like that is pretty rough. Pretty rough. Comfort Plus is basically just an extra three inches of legroom. Yeah. It's honestly not worth it, but the seats are slightly more comfortable. That's about it. Delta is just kind of garbage, to be honest with you. All right. Okay. That's all the switches on. There we go. Did Glarsa steal Cherry MX Browns? They straight up gave him Cherry MX Browns. Why would he need to steal them? Hmm. All right, you can type exclamation point ceramic to check out the ceramic keycaps that we'll be using in just one moment. But first, I'm gonna go pee. So type exclamation point ceramic, check out those keycaps, and I will be right back. All right, howdy, hey, we're back. Pretty long pee, why you guys gotta judge how long I take to pee? What's uh, what's up with that? What's up with the, uh, with that? That ain't, that ain't cool. I could take as long as I want to pee, or as long as I don't want to pee. Yeah, sometimes you gotta wash your hands. Anyways, I hope all of you typed exclamation point ceramic and checked out the keycaps. Because I sure didn't. You gotta sing your ABCs when you wash your hands. You gotta sing Cadelli's new hit song, Wake Up. Now available on all platforms. Type exclamation point music. Um, every time you wash your hands, you have to sing through the whole Wake Up song. It's pretty crazy how that works. It's a new uh, World Health Organization guideline. Yeah. Anyways. Anyways. 
Bruh. So, a friend of mine, Bell Sprout, turned me on to your videos when I decided I want to build a keyboard of my own. You taught me a lot about building boards in a very entertaining way. Love all of your content. Here's to the beginning of a board addiction. Oh my gosh, Penguin Jester. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. That means a lot. Also, shout out Bell Sprout. Okay, here we go. Sorry, my voice is hoarse. Anyways, here they are. Um, it's a brown box. Oh gosh. It won't focus. Did I accidentally lock in a focus? Hold on. Yep. Okay. There we go. Sarah Key. White set sample. Bing bong. This is a prototype. You're gonna get copyright slammed? Slam me. Okay. White blanks. These are white and they're blanks. These are the ceramic keycaps that you've been waiting for all along. You've probably got an ad for these on Instagram. They're running a Kickstarter right now at exclamation point ceramic. They sent these out to me for free. They also gave me an affiliate for their Kickstarter. So if you click the link and purchase these, I make a portion. There's your disclosure. However, if they're bad, I'm gonna tell you they're bad. If they're good, I'm gonna tell you they're good. I don't care. There you go. Thank you for waiting. And let's check these out. So you'll know if you need to cancel your Kickstarter or not. Hippio's gonna sell out for him. If you think I sell out, you gotta be new here. I sell out to everyone so that I sell out to no one. Um, I have trashed sponsor after sponsor and they keep coming back. So, yeah. They must be advertising pretty heavy though because a lot of people are telling me to check these out. So these are quite heavy. In fact, I do worry that I used red switches for this, but I did this as an experiment. I did it as an experiment. I'll give you a close up on them soon. Um, it also comes with the TKL and numpad and four little blue accent friends. Yeah. Four little blue accent friends. Let me bring the camera around. And then let me turn on a fan because it's getting kind of toasty in here. Oh, it's not plugged in. Hold on. There we go. We plugged it in. Okay. Booty. You guys like the booty content? I'll make an OnlyFans one day. Just see, wait. So, let's check these out. I'm gonna get some B-roll of these. You guys are gonna have to be a bit more patient to see them on a board. And that's the Hippio stream way. If you watch a stream, you get all of the scuff and none of the fluff. I am in Pacific Standard. It seems kind of bright because I have a big studio light. This guy. There we go. Whew. You want the fluff? That's crazy. So those blue keys are kind of cute. They match the Bob Ross desk mat. Just so happens. That's kind of cool. Yeah, my theory here is that the reds will not be able to hold up the keycaps. However, that's why I'm using them. Um, I personally like using lighter springs, so if they don't work for light springs, we need to find that out. 
We need to find that out fast. Okay. So, we've got that. Now let me get a B-roll shot of the main set. A 30 minute poo? How's your digestion? What the heck? I'm not sure if this is gonna be the final packaging for the set. Oh gosh. That's probably a lot better exposure, ain't it? I think I overexposed it a bit. Will you be showing the other two desk mats? I can at the end of the stream, as long as you remind me. Now I'm gonna stretch. Oh, my little tendons. Ah! Can you get a full set of the blue ones? Not really. I get what I get, and I don't throw a fit, usually. So, as you can see, they're a little bit glossy. They're on the glossier side. Um, yeah, the space... It says it comes with a 70 gram for spacebar. Interesting. They are very shiny. So if you don't like GM cakey caps because they get shiny, these start shiny. So that will be something to think about. That will be something to think about. Would love to maybe make a desk mat for you someday. If you have any prototype designs or something, send it in my Discord in the members only channel. Um, I'd love to check it out. I can't guarantee I can work with anything, but I'd love to see it. All right. All right, all right, all right. Uniform shine is fine. That's fair. That is a lot better than non-uniform shine. Okay. It's Toby from earlier. Oh, it's Toby from earlier. Oh, okay. Hi, Toby from earlier. It was nice talking to you. I didn't know your name was Blushing Yokai. I rolled out my pants. You can't really see, but it looks kind of cute. I look kind of cute right now, not gonna lie. All right, so let's take one of them out. And let's take a look. So they're very smooth. Oh my god, they're so smooth. My fingers are sweaty right now. And it's like they slip off at like a slip and slide. The stems look kind of nice though. Very robust and honestly not too heavy. Not too bad. Let's compare them to some other keycaps. But first, let me compare a blue one. You guys want me to get my scale? I can get my scale. They seem cherry profile-ish. Okay, that's pretty nice. Let me bump the ISO down one notch. There we go. Okay, please get the scale. I, I can get the scale. All right, I'm gonna go run and get the scale. While I go run and get the scale, please consider hitting that join button, exclamation point join, um, 4 dollars a month. I'll be right back. Gotta run. And now, it's time 
for the return of Mr. Coffee Scale. Mr. Coffee Scale, woo, yeah, woo, all right. Okay, as you can see, one keycap, 4.3 gram, uh, row four. Let's take a middle row keycap. 3.4 grams. So there's a little bit of a weight difference. Well, a kind of a substantial weight difference actually between each keycap, 3.4 versus 4.3. So you might notice a bit of a difference in how easy it is to press some rows versus others. Um, now, I think I've been told the space bar is getting reworked. I think they mentioned they were going to cut some weight from the space bar, so I'm not going to weigh the space bar um, here, because that would be unfair if they're changing it. Eight grams for a modifier key, so a modifier key is about double the weight of a normal key. Now let me grab some normal key caps and compare that. So, okay. 7.9 grams for a left shift. 4.3 grams. So is that for... That's eight. It's like a 3.6-ish gram difference, about double. So then let me compare, let me compare a PBT set, Infinity Delight. So here's what I want to, to find out. I want to find out the ratio, the difference in keycap weight. So if the average PBT set, the shift key is double the weight of your escape key, then that's perfectly okay if that ratio stays the same between ceramic. So, let's start with uh, our escape key. It is 1.7 grams. Now, our shift key is about three. Okay, so the ratio is actually pretty similar uh, material-wise. Or, like, so that the shift key is about double the escape key's weight, so you're not gonna see that substantial of a difference, ratio-wise. Anyways, there's a, there's a fun little thing for you. There's a fun little thing for you. But to compare a normal keycap with a normal keycap, we've got 1.6 versus 4.3. So it's a more than double. More than double a normal keycap's weight. That's the best way to describe it. Um, Let's compare something like a big right shift. 3.3 versus 10.3. So that's, that's 3.4 times heavier. So you're, you're, oh, it's 10. Your mods are gonna be quite a lot more. But, that means that these are much more material dense. Much more material dense means, oh, I can't show that yet. That's gonna, that's spoilers for later. 
Material density, according to uh, science, means more thock. And it also means I'm probably going to, yeah, get heavier springs for the modifiers. Anyways, that's the later part of the video. Mr. Coffee Scale, everybody say, everybody say bye, Mr. Coffee Scale. Bye. I'll miss you. All right. That was Mr. Coffee Scale's first segment in like quite a long time, I think, actually. he's He's been a, he was originally a recurring member of the channel and then I just forgot about him completely. Um, buh bye Yeah, all right. So, one thing I wanna look at. One thing I wanna look at is how they do the modifiers. So I'm gonna take one of these, one of these, one of these, and one of these. And now let's flip them. Whoa. That's pretty interesting. So as we can see, let me put them like maybe closer together. We've got a bit of a different method. Glued inserts is what it looks like. Maybe epoxied. So it's little plastic inserts inside of the keycaps themselves, but these don't have the plastic inserts. So no plastic insert it seems. But then these have plastic inserts. As you can see here. Now this does mean it's going to be interesting density on the mods. I wonder if the mods are going to sound a lot better. This is just a lot of speculation we're doing here. And I kind of enjoy it. Now let me get a nice little Nice little shot of this guy. There we go. Yeah, we're gonna add a lot of weight to this keyboard. Have you done the armpit angle yet? What are you talking about? I don't know what you're, I don't know what you're talking about. What do you mean? Okay. All right. So, uh, moral of the story is these are heavy. Thickness wise, let me compare a keycap. Did I already put those away? I already put them away? Wait, I got a keycap in front of me. Who am I talking about? All right. Okay. So compared to a keycap in front of me, they thick. Well, actually, I don't know if they're meaningfully thicker. I don't know if they're meaningfully thicker. Hmm. I don't have any calipers with me. I lost them last time I moved. Maybe I'll find them this time that I move. Hey. Thicker than my girl? Well, if your girl isn't existent, I'd say anything is thicker. But, fair enough. Sorry, that was uncalled for. They look pretty similar, actually, yeah. Um, but yeah, there's a nice little comparison between that and that for you. A uh, meaningful difference between normal sounding keycaps? Nah. Oh, this is Infinity Delight, yeah. Infinity Delight. Okay. I'm gonna move this over here.
and I'm gonna film a time lapse. I'm gonna do what's called an epic gamer time lapse move. Oh, don't fall on me. I'm too fragile. Okay. Actually, what do I do? I want to do it this way or this way? I don't know. Epic gamer time lapse time. Yeah, they seem to fit on fine. It's a little bit more force required. I'm trying not to listen to him too much. I want to save my reactions. Oh, now I'm just burping. Oh. Come on. Uh. Maybe like what Squashy did with the tofu with concrete. What do you mean? Oh yeah, he did fill a board with concrete, didn't he? I do have to use uh. A little bit more force. It's fine. Just a tiny bit more force. Okay. Our first modifier key. <laughs> it's so light. <laughs> These basically turn them into like hyper light switches. I'm kind of excited though. Hmm. I think I might need a little bit of lube on this guy. Or maybe just the stems aren't deep enough. I don't know. I'm gonna break, I'm gonna bust out my lube real fast. Ugh. Sorry if I'm making you jealous. You can check out these keycaps by typing exclamation point ceramic to visit the Kickstarter. Exclamation point ceramic. bit of bonus lube. I'm going to over lube these a little bit because they're honestly just, they need the cushion. So I'm using a syringe to over lube them. Okay. Better. Better, better, better. Here's our 175. There we go. Our shift works. This bad boy should work. Yep. They're very interesting. They're very interesting. The stab juicer is the only thing I'm jealous about. This is just a hobby syringe that I picked up off Amazon. Um, nothing too crazy, it was like six bucks. And I filmed it with Permatex Dielectric Grease. Use those rock climber hands? I haven't climbed in like three weeks. I've been too busy. Um. Would you prefer these over palm? They're entirely different materials. It's kind of hard to compare them. I have to wait until I fully built them. Um, here's your, your hourly reminder though, that if you're enjoying this type of content, feel free to hit the join button. Exclamation point join. Just $4.99 a month. You get a bonus howdy hey from yours truly. It's a bonus howdy hey. It's pretty crazy. 
Those don't come around very often. Exclamation point join. I'm thinking of setting some join milestones soon. Maybe if we hit like 500 or something, I'll give away something crazy. Not sure yet though. Whoa, this is really heavy. This is really heavy. Oh, I wasn't filming. Ugh. This is really, really heavy. Yeah. Poof. Oh my god. Yep. Yeah. So, as we figured out with the space bar, we need a heavier spring. That's what we assumed though, because this is a prototype set. So the space bar is much heavier for my set compared to the final version. So we figured that was the case, but I wanted to see if I could get away with a lighter spring, but that is not the case whatsoever. Um, so, let's see, what do we have? What are you staring at? What are you staring at my butt for? I come here, juiced up on a Tuesday, and you want to just stare at my butt? There's a keyboard right here. Jeez. Can't believe you. All right, so I've got an oil king for this bad boy. All right, let me, let me get quality content for you. Get him to actually focus this time. I've got an oil king here. Um, these are pretty good stock, but I lubed them anyways, because frick the police, you know, as the kids say. Nobody can tell me whether or not I can lube my switch or not. Include this in the vid so you get demonetized? Yeah, we gonna get demonetized. Let's go. Sheesh. All right. So this is a much heavier spring. So I'm assuming, legally, it's required to work. Hold on. Uh, would the space bar break if it dropped? I would do a drop test, but I don't want to damage my floor. I'm moving out next week. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay. That ain't working. Still too heavy. Ah. Uh, wait. I have an idea. I have a pen somewhere, right? I swear I have a pen so ow. A pen somewhere. That was an exacto knife that just fell on my lap. None of these have pen springs. I need a pen spring. Um, a pen spring would totally work. I think the Oil Kings are the heaviest spring switch that I own. Uh, I mean, I can look. Maybe I've got a heavier switch back in this drawer. Oh, sorry, Art. Ah. Get out of there, Art.
Gotta roll them up. Cheese! I think I own a couple switches. Just a few. Not, not too many though. I don't have a lot of heavy spring switches because I don't use heavy spring switches. Um, so, I mean, I'm Hippio Tech, so I'm gonna figure it out somehow. I'm gonna. springs on it that means I got springs in there oh hold on 67 55 that's lighter 67 I don't think I have anything heavier than 67 you guys Wait, 45? What am I gonna do with 45s? Where are the springs? I don't think I have any springs. Wait, wait. Wait. I found the pen spring. I found it. I found it. Look. The pen spring. <laughs> Where did it go? I just dropped. Where did it just drop? No, 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 no. Okay, okay. I found it again. I found it again. Pen spring. Wait, um, how do I make it? Pen spring. I found the pen spring. Look at it go. It's a spring and it's for a pen and it's really heavy and I got it. Look at it go. Wow, okay. Woo! All right. Okay. Howdy, hey. I hope you guys liked that fun little intermission. I hope that was so fun. It's a nice looking spring you got there. Oh, me? Thank you. Jeez. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna now. I'm gonna now pop this guy out. By going <laughs> bing bong. Mouseman X, howdy hey, thank you so much for the five US dollars. That's so freaking cool of you. I appreciate you so much. Thank you everyone, the super chats. 
There's a super chat feature on YouTube, by the way. That's pretty great. All right. Okay. Now, I'm going to pop this bad boy open. Like so. Bing bong. Don't now popped open. I forgot I had these. Um, what's it called? Filmed. Shelby Zimmerman. Howdy, hey. Welcome to the Watering Hole Gang. It is so great to have you here. Thank you so much. Cheers. Drink some water in your honor. I appreciate you for joining. Oh, and Thomas. <laughs> Thomas, howdy, hey. Thank you so much for the five on the super chat. I appreciate you so much. Thank you for the content and making me fall in love with the hobby. Could you recommend me a good board in the $150, $200 range? Well, Thomas, I got a video just for you. I forget the name of it. Hold on. I got to look at my backlog. Um, but it basically answers that in a way. Let me, let me, let me go back. I made it last July, I reckon. It was last July. I remember all of my videos. It is called, What Keyboard Should You Buy? Budget Friendly. That is the video's name. Hold on. Can I make TubeBuddy go away? TubeBuddy, go away. Thank you. Okay, there we go. Here, I'll put it in chat for you. If you'd like to watch that later. Thank you so much for the five. It says error. Try again. I can't put my own video in my chat. Are you kidding me? It says Are error. You crazy? Try again. I oh, I, now I hear myself. Let's try again. There we go. There you go. I put it in chat. Watering hole gang gang. Gang gang Shelby. Welcome to the watering hole gang. Make sure. Pardon me. I burped. You link your discord. And your YouTube. You can join the members only channel in my discord as a member where you get access to all your exclusive perks like saying hi to me and random behind the scenes stuff that I post. Your song says no no words? That is true. Music is my outlet to say all of the words that I'm not legally allowed to say on YouTube. There you go. Oh, there we, there we go. Okay. So. We've got this bad boy. This is a normal puny baby spring. Meh. This is a pen spring. And I'm putting it in my Switch now. Yeah. Why? Well, without it, my keycaps might not work. Can I close it though? Place your bets. Is Hippio strong enough to close a pen spring? Uh, uh, ah. There we go. We did it. All right, can I? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> this is a rock climber finger test. Ah. Okay, okay, this will work, this will work, this will work. Alright, here we go. The moment of truth. Oh. Well, actually, I think it's the stabilizers. Holes. Huh. Yeah, it might just be the space bar itself that doesn't work. Because this is... This is heavy enough. But the, um... The stabilizer holes aren't... Stabilizing. Huh. Let me try flipping it. I'm gonna try flipping it. Well, no, that doesn't quite work either. Huh. Hmm. All right, let me troubleshoot this a little bit. I'm gonna press really hard. Ah. Uh, hmm. 
I think it's just a dud of a space bar, to be honest with you. Hmm. Hmm. I'm not sure. Because it's not setting. I'm going to try my, my tactic of masking tape on the stems. Oh gosh, do I not even have it? I don't even think I have painter's tape. Let me check my other drawer. Hum. I just got clothes in here. Nope. Let me try a little bit of electric tape. Well, electric tape's not gonna really work with the grip, is it? I guess I could try. Yeah, I ran out of tape. I've tape modded too many keyboards. So if you're just tuning in, we've encountered a problem in that our prototype spacebar is a bit too much of a prototype. So we're trying to find a way to make the prototype spacebar work. Um, in order to do that, I don't freaking know, but we're gonna test some things such as putting tape on the stems. We've used a pen spring in our switch right here. So it's way too heavy now. I wish I had like 100 gram springs. That would probably be a lot better. I feel like 100 gram springs would be ideal. But I just don't use heavy switches, gamers. I'm just not a heavy switch guy. Okay. Well, that kind of solves it. Yeah, that's our temporary workaround, I guess. I didn't film that. Dang it. Bruh. Oh man. Mouseman X, howdy hey. And NK65 with Oil Kings and GMK Red Samurai sounds like a fantastic board. Not gonna lie, that's pretty great. Thank you for the five, I appreciate you. Okay, well, for the video, I took a little bit of tape and I cut it out and then put it on the stems. There you go. Why did I do that? I found a perfect solution and I didn't even record it. Yank it off? No, I can't yank it off because what if it doesn't work? Okay. Well, you know what I wonder now? Would it work with a normal Oil King now? I've got to try it. Here, let me film this. Yeah, so I just put a little bit of electric tape to kind of fill in the stems to make them grip. Which is a tactic I used to use on really, really, really budget keycaps that had this issue. It's one of my first videos, actually. Um, so, let's try a... Normal oil king, I guess. Maybe a Holy Panda X? What's heavier? Let me see what feels heavier. Twist two 55 gram springs together. Okay, what do I think is heavier? Actually, I think the Holy Panda X might be heavier. 
Yeah, let me try that. Um. Okay. I'm gonna try the Holy Panda X. Because it's like a, a heavier tactile, so I'm hoping. Hoping? Okay. Let's try it. No. Nope. The return, not very good. Dog. <laughs> okay. Okay, okay. There's our science for the day. Holy Panda X, not heavy enough. That's really interesting how much heavier the space bar is than every other one. And they told me that's just a prototype thing. So we're back to using the pen. The pen spring, which is so heavy. So heavy. Too heavy, 100% too heavy. I need like a, a happy medium here because this is not going to be ergonomic or usable. I'm just trying to get a sound test out of it. Don't put pen springs in your switches. <laughs> that is kind of, uh, it's kind of thawky, not going to lie. Okay. Now back to the the magic here. Here, magic. Um. There you go. For those of you watching live, unfortunately magic doesn't work. Um, magic is a lie and your parents lied to you. Sorry about that. Um. Did you record it? I did this time. Thank you so much for checking. But hey, every time you hit subscribe, I get one more mana point to use real magic in one of my videos. So thank you so much. Please hit the subscribe button. Very cool. Also, for everybody that joins the Watering Hole Gang, I get 10 bonus mana points. That's so much mana. I can cast so many spells in my videos. It's crazy. So all you have to do is hit the join button down below. $4.99 a month. No big deal. Pen spring was the magic. I don't know. My thumb's not going to agree when I get carpal tunnel. Oh. Oh, well. Carpal tunnel is irrelevant. Magic is forever. Don't spray. Hey, Bell Sprout. Howdy, hey. Welcome to the Watering Hole Gang. It is so great to have you here. Thank you so much for joining. I appreciate you. And I'm now going to drink some water in your honor. Cheers. Woo! Thank you for crossing the boundary from Twitch to YouTube. I appreciate you so much. Very cool. Massive poggers. Daniel, howdy, hey. You built an ID67 with Cherry MX Black Hyperglides. Oh, Cherry. Oh. And Japanese ink painting keycaps. Oh, and an NK65 entry. Whoo. Sheesh. Very good, Daniel. Keep it up. Proud of you. All right. Didn't know you stream on YouTube? Yeah, I stream on both platforms, YouTube and Twitch. That way, the viewers can get the best possible experience. You know, whichever one you prefer, that's what you can watch on. I don't really care that much. As long as you hit the join on the YouTube if you can. This is a lot of force required on these guys. Pros of ceramic keycaps. They are ceramic. Those are the pros. Would you recommend an RK84? It's not bad. 
It's not a bad keyboard. It's not a, the best keyboard. Uh, bare bones gives you a lot more freedom, though, so I always recommend that. Thank you. Oh, Ben, the box. Howdy, hey. Thank you so much. I appreciate you so much, Ben. Thank you for the five. I will take that mana. And appreciate it. I'm feeling juiced up now, guys. I started the stream with the cold, and I felt like garbage, and now I feel... Still like garbage, but happier. <laughs> and my cold didn't go away, unfortunately. Um, but I did. Do, I do feel better. I do feel better. I'm not gonna lie. Are the ceramic keycaps kind of heavy? I mean, if these are heavy, then you gotta go to the gym. You gotta lift a couple one-pound weights. You know, a couple grams ain't that heavy. But yeah, they're heavier than normal keycaps. Yeah. You gotta hit the rock climbing gym, work on those fingers. I was kinda sad. Okay, here's a here's a little story. Here's a little Germany story. So originally I went to Germany this last week with all of the uh, YouTube content creators. Well not all of them, but some of them. Glarses, Switch and Click, Hamaji Neo, Squashy Boy. Um, great lads. We went to visit Cherry MX. Anyways, I wanted to take them rock climbing. So badly. I wanted to take all of them rock climbing, go on a little rock climbing vlog with all the guys with the little switch and click with the little glasses. Unfortunately, we couldn't go rock climbing. However, I want to get another trip planned at some point to go rock climbing with them. Maybe we can make that happen at a million subs. Maybe that's the goal. I will go rock climbing with glasses, switch and click, Hamaji Neo, Squashy Boy at a million subs. There's the milestone. It's been set today. A million subs rock climbing vlog. With all those guys, we're going to rock climb. I don't care if they don't rock climb. We're going to make them rock climb. Okay. Thank you for listening to me. That was a ramble. Um, I don't know why I said any of that. But I, it's important to me, okay? I like rock climbing. I want more people to rock climb. Just like how I like keyboards. Lewis is invited. We like Lewis. I'm just saying that those were the people that came to Cherry. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. Yeah, well, who vetoed the rock climbing? We just didn't have time. Every single hour of every single day was packed and pre-planned for us. Oak, howdy, hey. Welcome to the Watering Hole Gang. It is so great to have you here. Thank you so much. In fact, it's so great to have you here that I'm going to drink some water in your honor. Cheers. I'm staying so hydrated today. Wow. Okay, back to the good part. But let me hear about your guys' day. How many of you are currently in school? And how many of you are in finals? Or finished with the semester or the quarter? Because I, I graduated back in 2020. And I'm like so out of that loop. But I remember May is like the hell month. Are you guys done? Were finals good? How's summer going? Two weeks. Two weeks until finals? I'm 11? Get out of my chat if you're 11. You're not supposed to watch me legally unless you're 13. Ah. I'm in my early 20s. I am a college graduate. I went all the way through college as a real pro college gamer. Let me wipe this guy off for good measure. Wow. Summer vacation. Way older than you. And I work. I'm in Australia. Well, that's pretty cool. Australia is pretty cool. Yeah, if you're under 13, you legally cannot watch my stream. You have to get out. Thank you so much. I say slightly above 13-year-old things on this stream. If you're 13, that's pushing it. But, you know, you're allowed. You're invited. Wait, is that... I want this one and this one, right? Yeah. Ah! And this one. Watching this during my online classes. Hippio hates children? Um, only if they're under 13. We're PG-13 here. 
You gotta tell your parents you're breaking the YouTube rules if you're watching this and you're under 13. Okay. Wow, there they go. There's the magic, you guys. Magic. Magic, magic, magic. No, it's okay. Just between you and me, I broke every YouTube rule. I was like 11 watching YouTube. I was like 9 making a YouTube channel. Marco, howdy, hey. Thank you so much for the 4.99 US dollars. I appreciate you so much. I've been climbing for a while now, and I was wondering what you think of slab walls. Well, Marco, I am so glad you asked. This is my favorite thing to discuss in the world next to keyboards. Thank you so much for bringing up rock climbing. I will now proceed to wax poetics about rock climbing in one moment because Penguin Jester, howdy, hey, welcome to the Watering Hill Gang. It's so great to have you here. I'm now going to drink some water in your honor. Thank you so much, Penguin Jester. Okay. Thank you, Penguin Jester. I appreciate you. Marco. Okay. Marco. Let's... Marco. I love slab so much. I love slab. Back when I competed at a college level in rock climbing, slab was my thing. Slab was like all I could do properly. You hit me with an overhang, I climbed three grades worse. You hit me with slab. She. Yeah, anyways, thank you, Marco. Uh, all, and thank you, Penguin Jester. All right. Don't tell Marco to chill. Hey, don't you dare tell Marco to chill. We're talking about rock climbing. Marco and I are having a great conversation about rock climbing, and I want you to respect that, all right? Don't you tell Marco to chill. All right. All right. Okay. Anyways. Oh, this is so heavy now. This is so heavy now. What? <laughs> I, I can't describe how much heavier it is now that I have got the ceramic keycaps on the board. Whoa. It just is heavier. This is it though. I'm gonna grab some B-roll of it for video purposes. First, I'm gonna wipe this off. Take out the scale. Mr. Coffee Scale has made a valiant return. Mr. Coffee Scale. Let's check out the pounds. Oh wait, pounds. I think this is gonna break my scale. It is now four pounds. It is now four pounds. Whew. What was it before? I don't know. But now it's four pounds. That's pretty freaking heavy. Also, keep in mind, the space bar is being supported by a pen spring. A spring from a pen, like, like these. It's a pen spring. This is not one of the pens with the spring, but you can imagine that it's a pen spring in the board. That's crazy. Okay, I digress. Back to B-roll. Oh, you're wondering what desk mat this is because it looks so fresh and cool and clean and great. Well, this is the Bob Ross desk mats. They're officially licensed and they're available on Kono store. You can type exclamation point Bob Ross, no space. Um, or if you're on YouTube, I've got it pinned actually to the top of the chat and in the description. Um, what's the hardest boulder you've done V scale? V8 was the hardest boulder I've ever done. I think maybe a V9, but I kind of call it a V8. Uh, yeah. Outdoors, I think V5. But yeah, indoors V8. That was slab. Slab, slab, slab. Okay. Whew. But yeah, so this desk mat is very cool, by the way. Just want to let you know that.
honestly, like, they're a little bit plain, but like kind of in a good way. Like that is the most aesthetically pleasing shot I've gotten in a long time. Very clean. Here, you guys want a photography segment with Hippiotech? Oh gosh, my, my Elgato really didn't like that. It really didn't like that. Oh, that's way too high of ISO. Whatever. Photography time with Hippiotech. This is me taking thumbnail photos. Everyone say hi to to the YouTube because you're in a thumbnail. Guys, I get it. My shirt has holes. I was attacked by a bear. Please be nice. Say hi to YouTube instead. There you go. There you go. Okay. Thumbnail. You guys are in a thumbnail. Isn't that great? Wow. My whole community came together to be in a thumbnail. Yeah, they've got that really interesting gloss. You see that? On that left side. Look at that gloss. It's reflecting my light. Pretty nice. Oh. Oh, God. I almost just knocked my humidifier over. That would have been fun. It does look like a toilet. Oh, my gosh. It kind of do, though. It kind of do look like a porcelain toilet. Wow. Hold on. Let me make it a little bit brighter. The white, or not the white balance, the exposure is, like, super rough here. <laughs> a throne for a king's hands. Y'all ever see a toilet and you're just like, damn, I wish I could type on that. You know? Me too. All the time. Yeah. I know. All the time. Do they sound like a toilet? Maybe. Usually when I'm at a toilet, it sounds pretty rough. I've got IBS. It sounds like a trumpet going off, or maybe like a, an, an explosive bomb or two. There's usually a lot of, ah, you know? It's a good time. Let me get a low shot. IBS gang, it is the worst gang to be a part of. I think ever. All right, there we go. Worst gang. Oh, that's sick. Why did I not get that angle sooner? Oh my god. That angle is way cooler. IBS gang looking for group. Looking for... I'll meet you at the toilets, guys. IBS gang, let's go. I... <laughs> IBS gang, meet up at the toilets at 4 o'clock, and 4.30, and 4.45, and 5, and then meet me at the toilets at 6, and 7. <laughs> uh, IBS gang, let's go. That's a pretty nice angle, too. I was here. 
What do they sound like? They probably sound like a keyboard. If I had to guess, it probably sounds like a keyboard. I'm trying to get them, oh, them juicy low angles. There we go. Like, it's hard to show how these shine in person. That's why I was trying to get all these angles. But I haven't even showed them with RGB yet. Oh God, Vivi, no. Vivi, no. Okay. Let me get one more top-down shot. And then I think we're good to plug it in. I just need one top-down shot uh, for science. Oh God. There we go. RGB equals higher FPS. Dang, really? I've been doing it wrong this whole time. Okay. There we go. All right. You know what they say about plugging it in? What do they say? of truth. That is like so clean. Can we see that at a shiny angle? Yes, you can. But give me a second because I have to adjust my tripod again and get a couple shots like this. But oh, we'll get there. So let's do one angle like this. Oh my God. That is so clean. So this is why I said I wanted to build a board with RGB earlier. Turn off the lights. Hey Google, turn off my office. Ah. <laughs> uh. Uh, uh. Wow. That's cool. Hey Google, turn on my office. All right, that's pretty cool. Oh, the shiny angle. Good. 
How do you guys feel about me banning the word typing test in my chat? Would that be Poggers Champion? This is like a, it's like a co-working stream, you guys. It's a co-working stream. You guys are here to co-work. They do look wet, right? They do look wet, just like me when I build this keyboard. That's so mesmerizing. Holy moly. Sorry if I activated your Google speaker earlier. Okay. All right, I just need to swap out the battery on my camera and then we're good. And then it's typing test. All right, should be good now. Boom. Okay, we are going to do a typing test now. If you would, oh, if you would like a typing test, then please uh, remain seated and hit the join button down below. So I'm not excited to type on the spacebar because it's a pen spring. Are there F and J nubs there? No. I don't even think they're scooped. Well, are they different? I can't tell if they're like less scooped. Maybe F and J are like less scooped? I don't know. Anyways. They're not scoop or nubbed. Sorry, one moment. Okay. Sorry if that made any loud noises. I need to turn off my fans. Okay. All my fans are off, and now I think we're ready to go with the typing test. So let me put this over here and put this over here. That way I can actually do a typing test. Oh, this is kind of nutty. Let me turn this up one brightness. Okay, can I turn? Nope, that didn't work. How do I turn the brightness down? I don't know. I don't know anymore. Okay, anyways. Hit the record button. This is going to be the roughest typing test I've done. Oh.
the space bar. Okay, well, I have some thoughts. Flip this bad boy around like this. Bing bong. That's backwards, sorry. Sorry, sorry, so sorry. Okay, I've got some thoughts on this guy. So I, I would say, overall, the ceramic keycaps are pretty poggers champion. Um, you can check them out at exclamation point ceramic. They're running a Kickstarter right now until June 9th, I think. It's not very long left in it, maybe a couple weeks. Um, I've also got them linked in the description on YouTube. If they don't fix the space bar, don't get the set. They said they're already fixing it though, so I'm not too worried about it. Um, for reference, I'm having to use a pen spring. That's why I had to so deliberately like, the amount of force required is kind of nuts. But every other key feels pretty nice to type on, actually. Um, like, um, with the lighter springs, I like it quite a bit, actually, because it feels even lighter um, with the heavier keycaps. It messes up a bit of the modifiers. Like, maybe I would use heavier springs on all of the modifiers, but... Yeah, I think they should just include some heavier springs with each set. That's a great idea, Ewan. Um, Shelby, for reference, the space bar in this prototype set of keycaps is probably... I think it's, like, double the heaviness of, like, the final space bar or something crazy. They changed the whole design of the space bar to make it lighter and more functional. Um, so yeah, the space bar is going to give me carpal tunnel, so I'm not going to type on this thing long term, but this is honestly gorgeous. And I think it might earn a spot on the hippie tech shelf of plugged in keyboards. Um, aesthetics wise, like, I mean, you saw it, like it is absolutely gorgeous. Abs, I nothing quite like it. Like palm keycaps don't come close to this level of like glossy diffusion. Like it's really nice. As someone that just absolutely loves RGB, this wins my my aesthetics game. Typing feel wise though, eh. Typing feel wise, they're very glossy, very glossy. So like if you were gaming on these, oh, did I? No, no, I didn't get a cut. If you were gaming on these and you got sweaty and greasy, they wouldn't be that great. Like practicality wise, is this set the type of thing you'd want to use every day in your daily driver? Probably not, probably not. But are keyboards always practical? No, not at all. Like, as someone that's super sweaty, I don't think I could use these every day. Like, I wish they had a matte version rather than a glossy version. You could use toilet bowl cleaner on this. Great idea, Vivi. Toilet bowl cleaner, I think, would really come through. Um, if you pee on them and stain them yellow or whatever. <clears throat> <clears throat> okay, I think my cold is getting the better of me, you guys. 
I think my cold is getting the better of me this uh, stream. So, I think these are the ceramic keycaps, and that's pretty freaking poggers. If you guys want to check them out, you can type exclamation point ceramic to check them out. Click that link. If you're going to buy them, please use my link. Um, I get a little bit of a kickback. Should I buy or not? I'm not going to tell you whether to buy them or not buy them. That's an informed decision that you have to make knowing what I said about them and what you read from their product page and your own personal desires. These are the Bob Ross desk mats now available on Kono store. Um, you can check them out via the link down in the description on YouTube as well. Um, I promised someone I would look at the other two desk mats before ending the stream. So I'm going to do that real fast. Um, let me look at the other two Bob Ross desk mats real fast before I end the stream. I'll keep this up in the corner. There. Okay. So. I've already showed you this Bob Ross desk mat, which you can get via the link in the YouTube description or by typing exclamation point Bob Ross, no space. There's also this one. These are official Bob Ross desk mats, by the way. There's also this official Bob Ross desk mat, which is like the reflections painting that he did, which is really freaking cool. Really freaking cool. Um, so that's amazing. I love this one the most. I'm going to put this up on my wall. Now, they're only 30 bucks, which like, for a piece of artwork that you could hang on a wall is really good. Like seriously, like, okay. So up here, if I didn't have my foam there, I could literally just boop, pop them up there. Oh, what? What are you, do you see an armpit? You guys see an armpit? What? I could just pop them up right here. No big deal. Um, and that's pretty good. So, Check these out at Kono store. I think there's a code Hippio you can use. Maybe? There might be a code Hippio you can use. I'm not sure. Um, not sure. But there you go. These are two of them and there's still two more. So, this is Bob Ross's ocean painting, which Subjectively, not my favorite. I don't think he does oceans as cool as some of his other stuff, but it is cool. It's got a Bob Ross signature right there, very visible. Um, if you're into this type of like calming ocean water scene, there you go. Also, if you're tuning in for the ceramic keycaps, there they are on a keyboard. Look at them go, they're very pretty. Exclamation point ceramic. <laughs> I'm losing my voice. Losing my voice. Okay. And then last but not least, another water one for some reason. Um, or ocean one, I should say. I love it when he paints water, but the oceans are his more boring paintings, but it was probably easier to get uh, rights to these. This one is just a very calming beach scene again as well, but like... It looks like it's maybe in the morning, early morning. Um, so yeah, there's four different Bob Ross desk mats available. There you go, I showed them off for whoever was asking me to show all of them. You've got Blue Ocean, Sunset Ocean, the best one probably, and then just a relaxing hillside. How large are they? Um. I think 900 millimeters by 400 millimeters, they're standard desk mat size. They're the same size as my Pixel Comet desk mat. Um, they're not too thick, nothing too crazy. The glide on them is like standard desk mat glide. So nothing, nothing too amazing, but not bad at all. Oh, I keep burping too, oh no guys. Okay. So, gamers, the cold is getting the better of me. I'm going to go succumb to the darkness 
If you guys appreciated the stream, please consider hitting the subscribe button or the join button. That's exclamation point join. Um, it's $4.99 a month. It's like a Twitch subscription. It helps me a ton. Hopefully once I move in June, well, I move next week, but hopefully in June when I'm settled, I can start streaming a lot more, maybe like once every week or two. And then you'll get more of my pretty little face if you want it. If you don't want it, then you'll just get more of my elbow. I, er, oh, sorry. What's this? Oh, my bad. Um, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the stream. Uh, if you did, I'll catch you later. Uh, that's all I got for you. Um, thanks. Love you. Bye, I guess. Bye. Bye.